Alright, so we finished building uh, Lineage OS 17 for the discovery, and I want to take a look today at how do we add open gaps to our build. So we want to build the ROM with gaps baked in. Okay, uh, this is more common to do with AOSP, but you can do this with uh, with just any ROM really. And there's several different variants out there that you can use. Um, for instance, there's Mind the Gaps or Open Gaps. I'm just going to look at Open Gaps because that one's pretty simple to do, and uh, you guys can uh, can take it even further if you'd like. So we have already built our our discovery. Uh, and we looked at this last time in our video, and we flashed that with Team Win Recovery Project to our phone, and that's all good. So we're saying, okay, we want to go one step further. We want to actually add gaps to our ROM built in. Okay, so what we can search for is open gaps and AOSP build, and uh, here we can see, you know, the uh, the instructions for that. So the instructions are fairly straightforward. Um, there's some notes and things to uh, pay attention to. Uh, it says you do need to make sure as of November 5th that you install this git LFS. So we're going to make sure that we do that real quick. Uh, new terminal window. And where is it? There it is. So sudo apt oops, get install git dash LFS. Super secret squirrel password there. All right, so we've installed that as it says per the instructions, and so we won't need this anymore. We can go ahead and close that. <coughs> Uh, they had uh, a lot of discussion about how they had to move some things around, and that's that's fine. Um, but it says adding to the build system. How do we um, put this into our custom ROM? So it says find your manifest file, right, and add the following towards the end. So you could do this in like a local manifest or something like that. But it's it's saying just go ahead and add it to your manifest itself. So we go back to here. We open the repo. We go to our manifest right here, okay, and we see lots of stuff in here, and that's fine. And then it says down at the end, add this stuff right here. So we'll just copy that. and paste that into our manifest here. All right, and so once we have that pasted in, we would of course need to uh, repo sync to capture that. So we'll save this real quick, and we will do repo sync. Remote GitLab already exists with different attributes. All right, let's take that out of there. We'll save that. Let's go take a look here at the top. Remote, it's already there. Let's put it in our local manifest here. Let's try that. Remote GitLab already exists. Oh. Mm, yeah. It's just saying we don't need that line in there because GitLab already exists. So let's save that and C 
think. I think we should be good to go. All right. We'll check that out in a second, make sure we got that right there. So with that, we also need to update our device tree to add these gaps variant and which one that we want. Um, there's a lot of different uh, choices that you can have for like extra packages and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> Then, uh, then you can choose the one appropriate to that. So let's make sure our fetch works out good, and then we'll go ahead and edit our tree. So while we're waiting, we'll bring up our tree. So we've got our lineage discovery dot make device dot make right here. All right, and in here we're going to be adding gaps variant equals, and then we're going to be adding. Uh, call inherit product right here these particular lines and that's what we need to add to our build so once we're done with our fetch here we'll check that out make sure we got everything we need so where is this putting it it should we've got so much stuff going on here let me close some of these windows here uh, it's going to hopefully put it in here under the vendor, Lineage 17 vendor, and then it should be uh, right in this area here. So we'll check that out as soon as we're done synchronizing here. I won't make you wait for that. We'll just let it synchronize, and then we'll pick this up as soon as it's done. Okay, so that did not work out at all. Uh, now it says because uh, GitLab, the permission was denied based on the public key. And so these are supposed to download from GitLab. And the line that we deleted because it was a duplicate was remote GitLab. And it was here. So what I want to do to fix this, and hopefully if you run into this error as well. So I'm going to change this to be, we're going to call this remote name GitLab B, okay, with two B's on there, and we'll just change these ones to be GitLab BB. Save that, and we'll try that again. So, um, if it went to GitLab, the regular one, uh, it was looking for an SSH key and it wanted me to have the appropriate SSH key to make that function and I do not have the appropriate SSH key for that uh, we see that anything it was looking for on GitLab it's going to be looking at SSH GitLab at GitLab.com and so in our room service what I did is made it GitLab with two B's to be the remote and then we named that remote this open gaps where it's supposed to be. So I think this will work a lot better doing as HTTPS instead of SSH because then it won't ask me for the key. So if you've run into a similar problem, uh, this would be how you would get around it, hopefully. So what we're going to see, hopefully, is that it downloads the appropriate uh, portions that we need for building gaps and then we can continue from there. So I'm gonna pause this while it uh, well actually it looks like it's going pretty fast here. Maybe I'll just give it a second. Now we'll go ahead and pause it and then I'll, I'll pick it up as soon as it's done downloading. Okay, so that has completed, and let's check, and we see now we have open gaps in our vendor folder. So now what we need to do is make those edits to our device.make file for our device, in this case, device Sony discovery device.make, which we can see it tells us to do here in the instructions. So we say gaps variant and then what we want. So in this case, I think I'm going to pick micro uh, just to make it a little bit smaller, make the build a little bit faster. So we'll go ahead and just steal this one right here. Caps variant micro. 
and we'll put this into our device. So where do you put this? Really, you could probably put it just about anywhere. Um, but what I uh, what I do is I just put it down here at the end. So, and we usually want to put some kind of heading like uh, gaps, right? And then gaps variant micro, and then we also need this call inherent product line. which we'll put right there to make sure that it calls vendor open gaps build open gaps packages dot make so we'll save that and then it just says build Android that's the next thing that we have to do so we go back minimize these here and we will uh, real quick before we get started we'll notice that the size of the package right now is 607.4 megabytes so it's going to get bigger when we do this so first let's set up our build environment setup dot shell it's always a good idea if you've been doing something else to make sure that you set that back to the way it was and we'll brunch our lineage discovery user debug now we've already built this so this shouldn't take a terribly long time uh, you know it took us three hours to build it from zero to hero and we're going to check it out uh, how long it takes to build it just adding the gaps shouldn't be terribly long but I'm gonna go ahead and save you guys the time of waiting and just uh, pause the video and we'll pick it up as soon as it's done hey just a quick comment about adding uh, open gaps to your ROM builds uh, I did this the other day and then uh, then later I went back and looked and there's now some problems with it so there's some things happening uh, when switching from uh, Pi to 10 that uh, doesn't quite work right in the open gaps build at present but it probably will work very soon as I'm sure they're working on it diligently so if you try to add open gaps to your Android 10 build and it doesn't work quite right you might need to give them just a little bit more time to get some things ready uh, it is working for Android 9 and down and I've done that before so feel free to check that out